Now, Kyle, Lindy and I really have no grounds to stand up here and tell you how to treat Dakota because you're way nicer to her than we are. But instead, I guess we'll stand up here and tell you thank you. Thank you for loving her, for the beautiful person she is, for making her happier than any of us have ever seen her, and for loving Lindy and I like sisters from day one. Instead of being the older sister, she's going to be a wife. Instead of fighting our battles all the time, you'll fight battles for what's best for your guys' marriage. You'll wipe away not only your tears, but Kyle's when trials come your guys' way. And you'll be Kyle's biggest fan in whatever he does. And you'll stand beside him as his best friend, just as you stood beside Lenny and I for so many years. Oh, shall I stay? Eternal God and Father, we are grateful for this time, that this moment that we can take and enjoy together as Kyle and Dakota unite in marriage. Father, we pray a blessing upon them. We ask that they will have great days and a great life together. Father, we just ask that, they, that you would knit their wills and their spirits together and that that cord of three, he and she and you might make an eternal union, that their joy and happiness might be evident, evident to all that Christ is Lord and the center of their marriage. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. I promise to love you more every day. I promise not to just grow old with you, but to grow together. I promise to be your best friend for life and hold your hand through whatever life throws our way. I didn't know you'd be my best friend above all else. That was shocking as I had been informed boys had kids. Um, I vowed to be your best friend, someone to trust and confide in forever. I didn't know God would trust me with your heart. That is my greatest blessing. I vowed to fiercely protect it always, just as I know God will fiercely protect this marriage if you let him. I once heard from someone that marriage is not finding someone you can live with, it's finding someone you can't live without. And by the two vows that we heard today, I think that we both, we've all witnessed two people that just can't live without each other. It's beautiful, and I'm happy to have both these people in my life.